Hello everyone and welcome back to the second episode of Marathon Valley, the series where we are building up the county slash city of Marathon Valley in City Skylines. So where we left off today, we just got this simple city um, set up with a nice interchange at the entrance and a very, very small little um, residential area here. Um, we got some businesses here for people to work at, our normal city services, as well as the elementary school and high school. Um, we have our water and stuff being pumped in over here, as well as our garbage disposal over there and a nice little wind farm. Of course, the city is extremely small compared to what my end goals for it will be. So as you know, we have a lot of room to expand over here currently. We also have the ability to buy up a lot of extra land, which we might end up having to do in this video as well. So I'm going to get started with this here, and I think it's about time we probably should expand out um, our little area here. Let's start going into this area. As you see, we have a nice road that's going this way. As much as I want to expand out this way a little bit further, I feel like it's better to go off into one direction just a little bit more. So again, because that one's a little bit more extended, I'm going to directly start this vid episode off with a very quick expansion into this little zone here. I'm going to try to line that up decently well so that this is not taking up any more space than it needs to be. And I cut that a little bit short there. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna cut down this road. Um, like that. And again, these are the first episodes of the series. So a lot of stuff isn't edited together very much because I wanna kinda of show the raw experience of what I'm doing. Of course, I'm gonna have to skip ahead in certain areas, um, but I'm trying to give you guys the organic feel of what I'm doing here. So now we have this little area. Of course, you have to extend water and stuff into it, um, which isn't too hard at all. I like to connect that up there. And of course, now we can start up our city and just plop some more homes into there. I probably should also extend the district into that little area too, so the styles stay within it. We should also have electricity and stuff expanding. Okay, good. So we should be good on that front. Um, now we have this interchange right here. This has a stoplight interchange. Um, I don't think I'm going to directly connect these homes, however, over to this road, um, mostly because I feel like that would cause some traffic problems. Then again, maybe it would be helpful to do it just once here. Um, and after that, I would probably just do a really simple um, road just coming into there. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, just something leading in to lead it out back to that road, which might be a bit quicker for certain residents um, getting in there. And again, I'm not a city planner in any way, so I have little to no idea as to what I'm doing. And I also notice here we have a power line coming through. Um, we can either work with that or build around it. Again, if we're going to build something into this area, that area, the houses will continue and grab the power from here and transfer it over to the side. We won't need to have these power lines in there, um, but that's something we have to figure out. Of course, this is a good time to actually look at what kind of industry we can build. If we go over to the ore and natural resources section, Oh, um, and we actually look, we can see this isn't very good land. But if we look over here, we have a lot of, um, that would be oil. Over here, we got some pretty good farmland. Um, here we got some decent um, forestry. Doesn't seem like we have too much ore on this map, but that should be okay. Um, I think our best bet would be to expand somehow over to here um, to get oil, which of course you can do. Um, we could also make use of these trees, um, especially in this little area, because it may not be too much, but um, forestry does tend to be a little bit nice when it comes to where it's placed, whether it does exist there or not. So we probably could build some forestry into this area, um, but that's again something to put into our back pocket and look into in a little bit. Um, again, I wanna continue expanding. We're decently good on power. We're decently good there. Um, we are doing a bit low on garbage processing, but that should be okay as we are only doing this. Of course, I could build up one of these looking at, so it's cost a bit to build and make, but I think I'm gonna install one of those. Of course they create pollution, but that will burn that and keep our landfill density low as well as generate, of course, some electricity for us there nicely as well. So that brings up to up to 54 megawatt. We're doing pretty good on power. We can see all of our new residents joining into the city, which is kind of neat. Here they all come nice and in and filing in. Um, so it's good for them to all find their nice home. And we have some nice little Midwestern homes in here. Kind of looks neat. All right, so now let's go into this area. So should we extend out and do some forestry over here? I think we should. So I'm gonna grab, I forget which road we picked for this one here. I think that was the two lane road with, yep, this one right here. 
So I'm going to extend this one out just a little bit further because I can. Um, and we're going to go in to this. So I'm also thinking, because I don't want to have to have these trucks for the forestry drive all the way from over here down to this route. So I'm thinking we probably should put another interchange here. Um, but maybe that isn't necessary. I don't know for sure. Um, but of course, we can just go into here and grab one of these interchanges. This one always seems to work pretty well. Um, a three-way intersection. You know what? Maybe we should build that in there. Um, so I am going to pause the game and just go into demolish mode. And we're going to demolish out a portion of the highway right here just to build in that interchange um, right here. And there we go. So now we are built in into here. And we might need to demolish a little bit more on the sides because, of course, that isn't officially on the ground. Um, so these highways are going to have to feed down into there. Into there like that. Um, and we're going to bring that one up and connect it. Again, we're going to do the similar thing over here. And go down into that. So now we have a decent interchange here. Um, we can just bring these just directly down into here um, really quite nicely. And if I go there, boop, boop. And just try to be simple and brief about that. So now we have this. I'm going to see if it's going to put any stoplights. It doesn't. Okay, it looks like it might. Okay, so this one here has it, and that explains it because it's going in. This one, you're just coming back up and in, so that should be okay there. And that doesn't even look half bad either. So now we can start building in some of these trucking systems. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to be a little bit smart about this. Um, and do one of these, and I'm just going to build that up and in. And if I wanted to, I could do something like this. I'm just going to map it out. So the trucks are going to come down here. All the details in descend. They're going to come like that like that and then of course they could go right down or they could um, go to somewhere like here and lead right into the highway and join in on the exchange there and just get right out but the problem is it's going to create a stoplight I don't think that's necessary um, there at all so I'm just going to add that out and now we have those three lanes there um, and to be honest this doesn't look bad either so at this point, it's just kind of building in those center roads. Again, this is forestry, so we're trying to get as much land available inside as possible um, and just kind of going right across just like that. Um, again, and we aren't going fully in-depth at this stage. I'm learning throughout this series. Um, just trying to build up a decent city um, that is usable and will bring us some profit. Um, because that's kind of what we want. We want to have a nice city for our residents. We're also not trying to destroy it in the process. It, I don't think this looks half bad. Um, to be honest, it looks better than, than some of the cities that are around me. Um, but again, we're trying to incorporate all these different industries, all these different usabilities. Where in the real world, this would be provided, especially in Wisconsin, by multiple different cities in your area. So now that we have that set up, I'm going to replay the game, get that started up again. We're going to district this one out into um, forestry. So we'll get that uh, district, and we're going to make that forestry, just like that. And I don't know if this is going to carry power over to us. Um, just for the time being, I'm going to grab a power line right from here and bring that right into there. And we'll do that. Now we're good. Now we can start building in some of these nice industry centers, which will probably bring some decent in industry to our city and give some of our, our amazing citizens a job. But now that we're building that in, of course, we have 1,400 people. I feel like that's a lot of places for these 1,400 people to work. Um, so I feel like we need to start up another residential district. Of course, we could expand over here, but then you got highway noise and a little bit of the gust of this. But it's also good to keep in mind that this would be high density residential. So in that case, we would go here. Um, we're going to grab these nice um, large sidewalks, roads like that. And now we can just expand off into the sides um, with some really nice. I would probably go instead of the grassy because this isn't low density. I would probably do something similar to this because 
you're in a high density residential building, you're probably going to want more sidewalk than nice grass. Um, so we'll just install something like that here, which will situate us out pretty nicely here. So we'll go right there and connect that up. So now we have this, and I'm just going to go in and connect all these together. Again, this is a pretty small, high density residential area. I am overlapping a little bit there, but that should be fine. Um, and I am going to go in and make this also a district here, um, just like that. And I don't think I'm going to do anything there, but what I am going to do is go into the styles, of course, and now we get to choose. I think here, of course, that over there was the Midwest suburbs. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a sleek future high residential, or is that going to kind of look a little bit different? I'm going to kind of go for these Canadian. I'm going to see how that looks. I don't know for sure. Of course, I'm going to need to bring in some water over into this area here, um, which should work pretty well. And... We will do that, and now we will actually build up those homes, like check that. So now it's a good time to check on our schools. It looks like we need another elementary school, so of course we can build another one of those. I'd probably build it right into here, um, something like that. High school, how's high school doing? High school's pretty good. Um, we don't have anyone eligible for university, so we're okay on that front. Um, healthcare's pretty good. Death care looks decent um, on that front, and child care, do we have a child care center? I I think we built one, or did we not? Maybe we didn't. I thought we built a child care center. Maybe we did. Okay. Well, that's that's a little bit sad. Um, but that should be okay. And I think we might have built. Man, okay, we did not build what I thought we did. Okay. So I think that's also a good time to build in a another child care center if we wanted to. I think that'd be a little bit more important in the city area. But we'll add that into the future so that we don't lose any money. And look at that. We are now actually gaining a profit. We're gaining about $600 a week at this point. Um, and looking at these buildings, I don't know. It doesn't look any different than the normal city skylines district, high density district. Did that even save? It did. doesn't look like it, though. Um, maybe they'll come in very soon. Or maybe that is a low-density um, type building only. Actually, let's do a quick experiment here. So are these in the district? Okay, so this is right here in the district. Um, we're just going to go with here, and we're just going to do a low-density little area. Um, just to test that out, because maybe it does only apply to the low-density buildings. Therefore, we might need to do a different type of building in that area, um, which, of course, we can do. And that looks okay. Um, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit to just see how this progresses out and see what it does. Okay, so these... Hmm... I can't really tell. I mean, those don't buildings don't look bad, but again, they're a little bit different um, compared to these. Yeah, they are definitely different. So maybe, and I mean, these don't look bad either. So I am going to just tear these ones out here um, and just get rid of them because that was an experiment. So goodbye, people. So now we probably should see some more immigration coming in. All right, so at this point, we are actually making some good profit. If we go into our financials, um, a lot of our money is coming in from the residential. We're getting about 1400 bucks a week coming in from the industry. And it's also good to see here that our little interchange here is working extremely well for those industry trucks coming nice and in. Um, they are able to pull out. So we don't have too bad of a traffic problem except for people coming in. Um, that might just be because we have a lot of residents that are pulling in here. Um, unlike the rest of these, which are mostly just the trucks that are coming to pick stuff up and bring it out. So that should be okay there as well. And looking at that, that's a pretty decent. Madison Square doesn't sound bad, but again, it's a forestry area. So if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments below. Um, we could probably do something renaming that there as well. And we are, are we, let's do a quick checkup on our electricity. Okay, we are getting close. So we probably should expand our solar farm, or not solar farm, but wind farm by a little bit um here let's go there there and there and there and water i don't think these things need water so i think we're okay there um but that brought our electricity back up a little bit and we are okay on water so far still too which is always good to hear and how many panels how many wind turbines three six nine twelve so we got 12 wind turbines here that are making some really nice um electricity for us so that's pretty neat Yes, they're working nicely. Yeah, this nice river. It'll be cool to get, make use advantage of this river someday in the future as well. 
Um, okay, so now we're seeing all these people join in. Um, again, these buildings can house a lot more people compared to these ones over here. Um, so we are going to see a lot more traffic. But that's also why I did the bigger sidewalks, so people can walk down here to work. Now, this would also be a good time to bring up um, some inspiration for an idea here. So I'm going to quickly pause this while we go into Google Earth. I'm going to bring you to a town that's pretty close to home, um, which is Wausau. So we're going to go into Wausau, Wisconsin. Um, Wausau, Wisconsin is a city pretty close to home for me. Um, we go there quite often, and it's down here in the central Wisconsin region. Um, I think they did a decent job designing Wausau. As you can see, there's this main highway. Um, I think, I believe that's 50. Okay, so that's 51 that goes through here. I'm used to 29. Um, but if we look here, you'll see the highway pulls off, and it just goes off into these little districts. Um, they have these nice, um, so I believe that's probably the, okay, so I'm trying to figure out where I am compared to where this brought me into. So this four-lane road coming through that builds off into some really nice low-density areas around here. This is a lot of low-density housing. Um, you'll see the roads aren't a grid entirely, but they are close to a grid. If we go here and we just look at the roads now, um, we don't want 3D buildings. We just want, um, no labels, no or roads. I'm just looking for roads. So, see if we can I even do that. Hmm. Not Google Earth. Okay, well that's fine if we can't. Um, it's decent to see. So you can see there's nice roads coming in here. Um, these are, I believe, like all two lane roads, just coming in, bringing in all the houses, and you can see they got them compacted pretty well. Here we have Grant Elementary School, which is one of the Wasta School District Elementary Schools. Um, that's just into here as well with their little plot of land that they have there. And then you kind of taper off into some low density commercial districts over here for people to work, um, some really big parking lots and things like that. Um, now, if you go over a little bit to the, to the west, um, if we go down into here, you're going to get into areas like Schofield, um, which is what most of this is. This is more business park like. So you'll see here we have a lot more spread out industrial um, type buildings here. Um, they have the Weston Business Park around here. You got some more schools. So you got Mountain Bay Elementary School, DC Everest Middle School, um, which are also schools around here. And you can also see they have little bits of low density residential split out around here. Also not in a perfect grid. Now if we go back and we look at ours, you'll notice here ours is definitely a, a lot different as we have gone for only a grid. Um, and I want to change that. I wouldn't mind the idea of going back and doing something like this, where it follows that highway. Again, <laughs> I'm trying to switch between stuff. Um, we have this highway coming through here. And if we can just follow this highway, pull off of it as we need, go into different areas of land, we would have a decent setup there as well. Um, going back in the map again, um, we can go over here a little bit more. Um, you'll see we have some more different um, areas here. We have a trailer park back in here. But again, a lot more just low-density residential. Um, Central Wisconsin doesn't have a lot of the high-density residential. If you go down to Madison, you'll see a lot more of that, or even closer cities. Um, downtown Wassa has some, um, but again, we're more low-density residential. You can see they did a cool pattern here with like the circle homes, um, which again, is a decent design too. And again, this highway in here, um, I don't even know if this is a highway. I think that, yeah, this is more just a county road coming through. The highway is more down here. Um, you got highway, I think, yeah, this is 29, I believe. Um, coming in, you see they got these nice turnoffs and stuff, and you just find where you're going. Um, that's the, there's, so there's, there's this huge hospital complex here. As you come down, and then you're pulling off here, you got a lot more residential. Um, and over here, they have this little area of mall, too. But again, we can't do all these features within City Skylines. This is definitely a more real-world concept that we can use for inspiration. Um, and looking at all this, it works out pretty well. And knowing this, because it's close to home, I know how the traffic works. It isn't a problem. This intersection here gets a little bit compacted, um, but it does step decently fine as well. As you can see, you got another elementary school up here. Um, and then this goes more into an industrial park. You can see a lot of warehousing and stuff next to the low-density residential. But most of this is indoor um, manufacturing type stuff. That isn't a district that I have in the current version of City Skylines that I'm paying for. But a lot of this is just warehousing and stuff. Um, you can see they got another school right here um, before just really just a lot of residential in this area. And if you zoom out, you can see 
goes up into that area all the way up into here. Um, you got this big R Wisconsin River going through it as well. Um, you have in Rim Mountain, which is a lot where our stuff is. You have a ski hill up here. This is all a big mountain right here. Well, not a mountain. Um, we call it Rib Mountain, but it's more of a hill, like Rib Hill. Um, but as you can see, they got the big highway coming in through here. Um, I will say, uh, if you live in the area, you probably already heard it, but this whole area here as you're coming into Rim Mountain, Mountain is getting completely redeveloped. But you can see here they have this nice, I would, yeah, that's about four lanes or so going right through here, pulling off where it needs to go in different stoplights. So you got a stoplight, stoplight, um, going into different business areas. Um, you got your big Walmart, Best Buy stuff over here with parking lots in front of it as well. Going off into here, you got some more warehousey type stuff. Before you go right back in to the residential. Um, so that's a decent layout of what we probably could do um, as we get further and further in to this project. Um, but looking at that, I think that's where I'm going to end off this video for today. We got a lot more done, um, and I'm gonna excited to see what we're getting more done here. Um, again, I'm not going to do any work on this, at least not much, without recording a video for it as well. So I will see you all next week. Have a great rest of your day, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.